The auto naming feature is useful to make a relevant naming scheme for your tests. This also ensures that you do not overwrite measurements by mistake. To configure the automatic file naming, proceed with the following steps. From the main menu, click on the identification button in the right panel. From the apply to list, ensure that next acquisition is selected. Select the desired identifiers to include in the file name. You can change the order of appearance of the highlighted component with the up and down arrow buttons. Please note that the information in the dark gray boxes is read only and cannot be edited. If an identifier has an arrow icon, a predefined list with choices is available, but you can also enter your own customized identifier name. Note that if you select none, it disables the field from the list. Then populate the information in the value column as it will appear in the report and could be used to build the file name. Select the field you wish to see in the file name. This preview is updated automatically as you make your selections. To enable the auto increment feature in the increment window, select the auto increment checkbox corresponding to the identifier you want to increment. The identifiers are processed in order from the one with the largest indentation to the one with the smallest. For a given identifier, when the increment value reaches the stop value, the incrementation automatically switches to the next identifier. If an identifier is set to none, it will not appear in the increment window. To decrement values, the start number must be higher than the stop number. Select the format for the incrementation value. This will determine how many digits are used and the information will be displayed accordingly in the identification window. Then tap OK to confirm your new settings and to return to the main window. Finally, the new settings will apply the next time you perform an acquisition.